practice for rendering. In the Bible, you know, way back in the Old Testament, the guy cut off the sheepskin, right? And put it over him. Put the lamb fat on him to keep him warm. It could be the oldest industry in the world. It could be. It's possible. When the public got concerned about recycling, that's when the rendering industry started to blossom out, so to speak, and say, hey, we've been recycling for 500 years here, you know, take a look at us. We're, we, we are recycling. We're doing what you guys, what everybody wants us to do, and that's when we started to come forward. Before that, we never, nobody talked about the rendering industry. That's why it was the invisible industry. Nobody ever mentioned it, you know, quiet, on the quiet side, what those guys do out there. They boil all this stuff in pots. And stinks. What is a rendering company? A rendering company. And my mind pretty exploded with the thought and remembrance of a, of a very bad nightmare, a dream of hell. And it took me back to this rendering company in North Dakota where all the little pets at that time, when they died, were a truck had come out and uh, Big old driver come and grab your pet and throw him in the back end of this old truck and take him to what I call the boiler chambers. It's controversial. In other words, I, you know, we 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 stay low key. We don't want people to know we're bringing in animals and reprocessing animal byproducts. I don't know. Some people get nauseated by the thought. They get nauseated by it. You know that. You know what actually nauseates? You know, I mean, I've had people ask me. I've had people, I've been at a dinner party and been sitting down at a dinner table and somebody will say, what do you do? And I say, hey, I'm in the towel business. And somebody will say, uh, oh, geez, don't bring that up right now. Huh? Wait till after dinner when we all break up. I mean, in other words, we don't want to talk about what you do, Mike. It, it makes us sick. Why? I don't know, but it does. People say that all the time. We called it back home a glue factory. They don't waste nothing. And they take the meat and strip it, and they take the bones and boil them and cook them and make some kind of a meal out of them. And, and they don't waste nothing, not even the toenails on the animal or anything. And the smell that came from it. And I walked in there one day as a child, and I seen all these animals laying there. Being a 4 H man and an animal lover, and, and I just thought, boy, being in hell, here I am. I'm sitting in the floors of hell right now. My friend used to call.